Good day, my bossy babe. Today we are experiencing a forecast of budget-friendly green screens. It is forecasted that it won't cost you much. I'm getting a signal there. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own green screen. Green screens are good for sketches, they're good for any form of creative production. It really helps to just create a different type of feel to your videos. And it's easy, it's low budget. You can make it low budget, it doesn't have to be expensive. So I went to the store and I got a green piece of material which is behind me. Uh, let me just stop the green screen and show you the actual green screen. So this is a green piece of material from the shop. I paid no more than about five pounds for this. A green screen can be any shade of green, but I stuck to this green, which is like a darker slash neon type hue. But a green screen can be any green piece of material. Literally use some thumbtacks and just stuck it to my wall. Let's get on with transporting these files over to the computer. And then I'm going to show you how we do the green screen overlay. Now you want to probably start by getting some green screen um, overlays. They're pretty easy to find on YouTube. Just type in green screen overlay and you'll see different selections. And then from there you kind of just choose which ones you want. We're going to transport our files into Final Cut. I do edit with Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm not sure what it's like with other editing software. But for Final Cut Pro, this is how I edit my green screen. First, you want to start off with whatever background you're going to choose. It doesn't have to be a video background. It can also be a photo. So you're going to go to your video effects, choose all, and then you're going to search for here. Then you're going to put the effect over your video, um, which is going to leave you with like a black background instead of a green background. and then your background is going to go below your video. Not on top, but below your video. So here are some quick tips that are gonna save you some time and energy when shooting with your green screen. My best advice is to stick to neutral colors. Um, I try to avoid blues, greens, I think it doesn't show on white. I would mainly stick to black. I've learned from trial and error that it's better to just stick to like plain colors. So blacks, whites, no blues. I think blues pick up the hues as well. No blues, no greens. When you get to editing, the clear effect is going to have a hard time distinguishing which one is the background and which one is your clothing. Another tip is lighting. If you're going to have a dark background, your lighting is going to reflect in the back. So ultimately, you're gonna to wanna to choose a background that matches the lighting that you've chosen. Don't forget to stay bossy, flossy, and creative. And until the next video, thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye, my bossy babe. I think green screens are lovely for anything, really.